Hello, George Romanich here. Today is a story time. I know you like these videos more than uh, the videos when I talk about atmospheric sciences, physics and so on. Today's story took place around 28 years ago when I was uh, grade 5 in elementary school. As you, some of you know from my video on why I studied atmospheric sciences, I grew up in uh, war. My entire elementary school was in a uh, war zone. So pretty much uh, every year I would go to another school, another village, because the previous one was destroyed or, you know, the village was occupied and so on. Now, when I was in grade five, there was no school in the village where we lived. So every morning there would be a bus that picks us up and, you know, takes us to the adjacent village where we would take classes. The story is the following. When the bus stops, all kids would rush at the front door because only front door would open. All kids would rush in, try to get in the bus, uh, you know, to, to be the first one to get on the bus because everybody wanted to sit as close as possible to the rear end of the bus. That was the back then when I was a kid uh, and in, in that war uh, atmosphere, that was the measure how strong you are in school. The closer you're sitting to the rear end of the bus, the stronger you are. So everybody, that was the tendency. Kids are just like fighting, trying to get on the bus to be as close as possible to the rear end of the bus. But if you are a regular kid, and you'll see what I mean by regular, you do not sit at the very end of the bus, at that, that uh, rear bench that has five seats together. You do not sit there. That was reserved for the five strongest guys in our school. Now, when the bus stops and we all try to fight our way close to the end of the bus, that was all kids except these five guys. These five guys, they would stand like some distance from the bus and look at us like zombies fighting to get in because they knew nobody would sit at the rear bench. If by some mistake, some crazy mistake, you go and you sit at the, uh, on the rear seats, you are in trouble, you'll get beat up uh, like when you leave the bus. They could not beat you up in the on the bus because teachers were also on, on the bus and bus driver and so on. But the moment you get off the bus, you'll be beat up. So nobody was uh, there. Now, this scene quite often reminds me of Game of Thrones. When you see those white walkers uh, on top of the mountain looking at the, those zombies fighting and whatnot, that's how I now see the scene where uh, we are all fighting to get on the bus and there are these five guys standing behind us just overseeing everything. And the reason the rear bench was so important on the bus because when you sit there, you kind of oversee the entire bus. You see everybody, your dominions <laughs> in front of you. And of course, the closer you are to the driver, the weaker you are. Now, this is something I will never forget because now, some 28 years later, I live in Montreal, I go on public bus from time to time and just subconsciously, when I get on bus, I always go towards the end of the bus. It's just embedded in my mind. If I'm with somebody, you know, we get together on the bus and that person says, oh, let's sit here. I'm always like, uh, let's, let's go a little bit closer to the end of the bus. This is too close to the driver. I just, I can't sit uh, that close to the driver. Of course, I don't tell them this entire story, but that's something that is in my brain. So when I go now in, you know, on daily basis, let's say I go on the bus and I sit at the back seat, that story always crosses my mind. And every time now, you know, the bus stops, new people get on the bus. I always <laughs> judge where, where people sit. Somebody sits close to the driver and I'm like, yeah, this one is not so strong. Somebody is approaching the uh, rear end of the bus. I'm like, okay, this person is very strong. And if somebody wants to sit next to me on the rear bench, I always have that feeling that I, I need to defend the territory somehow. Of course, I don't stand up and fight these people, but it's just like, I don't know something uh, inside of me that uh, uh, I, will, I will never forget. So 
of course this channel is on atmospheric sciences and physics and mathematics and wind engineering but if you will remember anything from my videos then remember to always sit at the very end of the bus until next video goodbye